Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Bonnie. We haven't had any painting lessons for quite a while, and I am so excited to be back doing this with you. So today, we are going to be doing a really simple sunflower technique. I actually have a ladies' convention I had to do in the fall, and so I like to make a book to go with it. So I'm gonna take you along in the journey. So we're gonna start out with just these three. So you see we have yellow and sunny day and king's gold. And these are so inexpensive. I got them at Walmart. They're like 50 cents a piece. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm just making little daubs of color. Just it doesn't take a lot and this is a super easy background that we're going to be doing so it doesn't take a lot of paint and like I said I think these are like 50 cents a piece for these and okay so you can see I've added a little bit of orange with it and then I'm using just a little flat brush. I also got all these brushes, I'll show them to you. There's a whole package of these um, at Walmart. And they're like, these are only $5 for all these brushes. And so the ones we're gonna be using today will be this round tip one, and then this little flat tipped one. And then we'll probably use this other little flat tip. And then there's some nice little um, fine line brushes that we'll be using too. And I'll show you those. So I'll be using that one. And I'm sorry, I don't know what the sizes are. I just know I like them. And then that one's actually probably going to be really great for the petals. And then I'll show you. This one had the coolest. They've got like little, see our little plastic palette knives included, which are really cool. So we might use those too. To be honest, I don't know how this is going to come out. I'm winging it as I go, and you're going to do it with me. And then I have my glass of water. I always keep a couple washcloths. But So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag the paint into itself. And there's really no rhyme or reason to it. And I'm not worried about getting it on the counter because I can just wash it off. And I kind of want like a watercolor effect. So it's because we're going to make the flowers on top of this. And even this is really pretty. And I think I'm actually going to water it down. And I hope you guys are doing great. I've enjoyed all the comments and the visits on the channel on the Father's Market. Um, it's been a really great year for us. We actually moved across country from Oklahoma to Maine. And so it's been quite an eventful year in the, our household. But we are very excited. We are first time empty nesters. We had, we moved out there to get my youngest daughter and her husband and her baby all on their own which we were able to do that and they're happy and doing really well and so my husband and I have been married 40 years and it's the first time we have not had any kids living with us so it's a whole new world and we're really enjoying our time and seeking the Lord we're both ministers and so we're asking God to show us what his plans and purposes are and that's always exciting. Of course, it's 2020. It's a brand new year. And everybody always has, you know, we always have dreams and goals and things that we would like to see. Yeah, and so you can see how pretty that is. It's just a soft and pretty. So I'm just going to let it dry, and then I'm going to show you how to make the petals. So it looks like our um, painting is dry enough to work. And then I'll show you, see if I can show you all the colors. These are just different shades of orange, three different shades of yellow, and then there's brown, and then there's red. 
So they're really simple, simple palette of colors. And you can try different colors. Um, so we're gonna start with the circles first. Um, I like to use a little brush, you can see, it's just a fine point. We're gonna draw the circles for the center of the flowers. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna start right here in the middle, just draw a round circle. And you don't have to have any special skills for this at all. If you can draw a circle, if you say my circle is not perfect, and so we're gonna draw every place that we wanna put a flower, we're gonna put a circle. So it's really simple. And the fun part about acrylics, you just add layers and layers and layers, and that's how you get the really pretty designs. And I may add some more a little bit later, but for now, that's what we're going to do. And then I like to keep my brush in the water, so I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to use this round tip brush to fill it in. And we're going to just fill in a circle and like I said we're going to come back and put some shading a little bit later so these are really simple and you can have so much fun like you can play this video with your kids and your grandkids and your friends and grab a cup of coffee and relax and and art therapy is so relaxing and I know you guys can hear my fish tank in the background it's just a really soothing sound and I'm I always get into my happy place when I paint and it's just relaxing and sometimes I play music I decided not to for this one I just feel like being quiet today so you can see it's just really really easy so what you want to do next is choose which one is going to be the main flower because the other flowers are going to be behind it. So I'm going to go with this one right here. Now what we're going to do, we always want to start with the dark background first. So all I'm going to do is we're just going to make these petals are really easy. So you just drag your brush and make it in a petal design. And I'm using the red because I'm going to go back and put the orange on top of it and you'll see how the when you use a dark color in the background because of course we know sunflowers are not red but it's going to give some dimension to it I'm actually stopping the video and getting some pictures while I'm doing this because I'm gonna, like I told you, put it in a book. So I just wanna encourage you guys while you're painting and working on these things that are just peaceful like this, I like to be quiet and let the Lord just speak to my heart while I'm doing this and he will because he really loves you and he has a plan for your life. He wants to speak to you. He wants to tell you things. For me this year, it was kind of neat because I went to this really cool church and they preached the neatest sermon and it just really spoke to my heart. I was talking about how God will highlight people to you and I never thought of that before. And I, I, um, so I started praying, you know how when you can't get somebody out of your mind and they just keep coming to mind. That's the Lord highlighting them to you. So the person that God just kept putting on my heart was my daughter, Sarah. And we've always had this really amazingly close relationship. Um, we've always lived far apart because I lived out west and she lived on the east coast. And she was who God just kept putting on my heart. And she has not wanted to go to church for a lot of years just hasn't been interested in it and so I finally just decided to listen to the Lord 
And so what I did, I just started to pay attention to the Lord trying to highlight her in my mind. So what I did was I would call her and I would just have fun spending time with her. And and one time it was really cool because I was sitting in church and I actually had a vision of her sitting beside me in church with the kids, which was kind of a, a miracle because she hadn't gone for like 15 years. Well, do you know, sure enough, this last week I, I, I went to church. She asked me if she could go and who do you think was sitting beside me in church? My beautiful daughter. So I just want to encourage you, if somebody keeps being put on your heart and you keep hearing like this whisper, it's God trying to highlight them to you. So I, I want to really encourage you to pay attention to it. So you can see that we're starting the next petals on the next one. But you can see how easy these are and these are not perfect. They're not meant to be. Bring it over a little bit so you can see it. So it's just like I said, you know, life can be such an adventure and you just never know who God's gonna use you to touch a life with. And it's so joyful when you do, when you pay attention to it. So, and like I had another person that God put on my heart. I just did something simple. I just sent him a funny little emoji at Thanksgiving that meant a lot to him. Or I talked about something that he was he was interested in guns and I could care less about guns. But that's what he was interested in. So I talked about it with him. And he went to church after that. So you just you know, we think we have to do all these big things and really you just have to love people. And Jesus kept it really simple. He just said, love God with all your heart and love others as yourself. <clears throat> and you will find <clears throat> that you're doing all the rest. So this one, you see how it's going to start to be behind the other petals. This is what I was talking about. See, we want to... So this one... I'm going to put behind that petal. Sunflowers kind of have little short little squatty petals and I'm actually going to be able to put more in here than I thought so we're going to add a couple more brown circles. And this is relaxing. I decided to zoom in on this one so you guys can see it a little bit closer. And the fun part about acrylics, if you don't like something, you can just paint over it. I, I love them and I love that they dry really quick. So back to what we were talking about. God loves you. He has a plan for your life. He knows about all the things that you care about. And He is going to look after you this year. It's going to be a special year for you. So now I'm going to put some more of the little brown circles. We're going to do some more of these sunflowers because we want to have the whole page just taken up with these pretty flowers. And I'm purposely going to put some, because there will be some behind the other one. So we want to put some more in here. And we're just actually going to keep adding these until we get this whole canvas filled in. And people just love sunflowers. Don't they make you happy to look at them? And I'm actually, where we are now in Maine, we have a foot of snow on the ground. And we've had two or three, two or three snowstorms since we've been here. 
and I am loving it. I love I love the winter time. I don't like to be out in it, but I like to watch it from the window. And it's just been kind of cool to paint these and know that we still have the hope of spring and summer coming. So we have quite a few more. We're just going to keep adding them till we get them the way we want them. So I'm just going to keep adding these red petals with all the little brown dots. It's and this little easel I picked up at um I think I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby. They're inexpensive. It was like fifteen dollars. I don't like to spend a lot of money on stuff. And um well I will if I love it. I, I can't say that because sometimes I do spend money that I shouldn't but this was a really inexpensive one. But it really does the trick. And I am learning how to make these videos, so my apologies, you guys, if they don't look exactly right, because I'm still learning how to do them. I've actually been kind of amazed at how many people jump on my site and look at stuff. And I'm grateful for it, because I love spending time with you guys. And I always share, um, you guys are really my ministry. I have people who will ask me to pray. I actually have... Um, an Etsy site called the Father's Market and it's just been the coolest thing because people will order stuff and then they become like I I have one from Germany that we we email back and forth every day they're like my pen pals and I pray for people so if you ever have a prayer need I pray every day for a couple hours and I always pray for you guys I pray that God will bless you I pray that he will give you peace and provision and direction so it's just a joy to share these with you and I appreciate it like I said I appreciate you guys spending the time so you can kind of see I'm kind of getting the petals behind the other ones and um, it'll make kind of a cool look the more that we add and that's like I told you the cool part is is the more you add the better it looks. So we're just making these pretty little simple petals. I think for us, the biggest prayer answer we had this year it was pretty amazing. So when we went out to Oklahoma, we honestly didn't know whether we were going to stay or go or what God had. And we, we really didn't want to, we loved it out there. We have family out there and we loved it, but it wasn't where our hearts were. We love New England, but the housing in New England is exorbitantly expensive and we didn't have the money to move. And so we just kept praying and asking God. And right at the last minute, all the money came in. We had money from unexpected sources, the house that we have, there's such a huge housing shortage in New England that the rents, that's why the rents are so high, and I think it's that way on both of the coasts, on the, you know, California's that way, I hear people say, I'm going to move this over, guys, sorry, but I just hear that, you know, it's, there's a lot of people who live in vans, or they they have lots of roommates, or there's, that's a lot of the reason why there's such a homeless problem. It's just sad. But anyway, God miraculously gave us this house. There was probably 50 other people who tried for it. But the guy who rented it to us said he just felt like we were supposed to have it. And that's how God works. You know, he gives you those moments, those suddenly moments, I call them, when... He moves on your behalf, and He has those for everybody. You just have to trust Him for it. See, you guys, how I'm making those petals longer? I don't like them so small. So it's starting to look like these pretty little flowers, huh? I'm starting to run out of my red paint. I'm going to have to load it again. Just have that one more down in the corner. And like I said, I'm going to probably add some more. I 
And the Bible talks about that God loves us all the same. You know, sometimes we get tempted to be jealous of other people when things work out for them but not for us. And we think, does God really love us? And yes, he does. And I've learned that when it's our turn, he will open the doors for us. So I would just encourage you, think about those times when you prayed and you waited a long time. Or if you don't know the Lord, you know, he, it's not about going to church and about a religion. It's about having a personal relationship with Jesus, the Son of God. He really is real. And he will make himself real to you. If you, all you have to do is ask him. It's just really, really easy. Yeah, so it's coming along. I just got done watching the coolest movie, and if you haven't seen it, oh, I just encourage you guys to watch it. It's called Overcomer, and it's just will make God real to you and let you know how how good He is to us. You can see I'm just adding more of the brown circles because we want to get some more flowers in there. But anyway. If you don't know the Lord, all you do is just say this simple prayer. Just say, Jesus, I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to come into my heart. Because Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. He died on the cross for us so that we would be able to get to heaven and have a great life while we're here. And he forgives us everything. You know, we've all, the Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We need a Savior because none of us is perfect. We can't do anything on our own. So we need a Savior to help us. And that's why Jesus came. And then, you know, it's sad because our world uses him like he's a curse word when really he loves us so much more than we could ever think or imagine. And he said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And that doesn't mean that we're not going to have problems in our life. But he uses everything to help us grow. And it, that's, it just means that, that he knows what we need. And I love that scripture verse that says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for good and not for evil plans to prosper and bless. Isn't that just cool? So you can see we've just added a whole bunch more little flowers. We're going to add some more red. So you guys, you can see these are just really simple. And it's really relaxing, I can tell you, listening to that fish tank, putting these petals on. I've enjoyed talking to you and sharing. I appreciate it. Here comes some more behind the other petals. This one's going to be kind of like a sort of, I would say, a primitive kind of painting. It's not going to have tons and tons of detail, but it'll be really pretty when we get it done. And it's okay if you drag some of the brown into the red because it, it'll just add a little more shadow effect anyway. These are kind of fat petals, but it doesn't really matter.
excuse me. It's kind of hard getting it down on the bottom there. I'll move it over just a little so you can see this one. This one's going to be kind of a lesson in patience because now after we get done with the red, we have to go back and put the other colors into the petals. But you'll see it's going to be real pretty when we get done. And when you work with acrylics like this, you always go from dark to light. So we're going to put probably three layers of colors to get the petals the way we want them. Just going to finish up these other two petals here of sunflowers. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. And you can speed up the video too. You can kind of skip ahead if you want to so you can see, you know, this part pretty much the same thing. So you can see I don't you don't have to have any drawing skills to do this. This is pretty simple. There we go. So we got most of them on there. So now we're going to start adding the other colors. And so you can see, I'm actually, so I did the red. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do that medium orange color right here. And we're just going to go back over. You see how pretty that is already? My brush is a little bit wet too, which helps it because I um, washed off the red paint. But see, it's almost like a, that's exactly the look I wanted. So I'm not using a lot of paint. But you can see already, see how it's, because you have the red underneath, it shows through. And that's exactly what we want. And then we're just going to go back through and do the same thing with each one. And I'm purposely letting some of the red show through. And then that's another one right there that's going to be on top. Of the other flowers. See how it's already starting? Let me see if I can get a little bit closer for you. See, look, see how you can see it's starting to look three dimensional by adding the different colors onto it. So, let me do one. Let me move this over. I'm sorry, it's going to jiggle. But let's try one so you can see it close up. And the paints will dry lighter, you know, when you're working with acrylics. And that's kind of something to remember because when you go back, and, I, and that's actually what I'm looking for. I want them to kind of look like a watercolor almost.
So you can see how those petals are behind the other ones. See, they kind of just naturally do it themselves. This is kind of the funnest part, like I said, because every layer that you add just makes it prettier and prettier. This is peaceful, isn't it, you guys? Sometimes things in the world are just hard and you listen to the news. Sometimes I get tired of it. Sometimes I take a break from Facebook even as much as I love keeping in touch with everybody. I get tired of opinions and negativity and people bashing each other. I just get sick of it. So it's just kind of nice to do something peaceful and relaxing. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. There you guys. Wow, with this layer, we're going to add another layer. Probably lots of layers before we get done. I said you can see I'm not putting the paint on very thick. I do when you use those plastic palette knives like I was showing you those you purposely put the paint really thick but this isn't this isn't the look I'm going for. I want the colors to bleed through. Now we're going to add the third color. So I'm going to go with, if I can get it to show up, this little bright yellow right here. And I purposely picked a dry brush because I want this to be a little thicker. See? Actually, let's do it this way. Go from that. You want to start from the bottom out for this one. See what I'm talking about, you guys? Isn't that beautiful? Maybe I can't go out on them, out on all of them, but. I'm kind of just flicking my wrist. And it's kind of tough. I love being a lefty, but it's kind of hard doing these videos because it gets in the way. But I'll do my best. This 
see what I mean, you guys? Isn't that pretty? You can love it as much as you want. I love how all the colors just kind of blend in together. I'm purposely kind of overlapping these a little bit just so the petals, yeah, I like that a lot. That looks real pretty. This one, I kind of want to put this other one in behind it. And it's relaxing, you guys. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. See how it puts the petals behind the other ones? I'm just letting the brush see, just kind of <clears throat> let the brush start to top and drag it, and the brush will do the work for you.
actually adding a little more petals to this one. There we go. So I think that I am going to I'll see if I can let you see it. So I'm going to stop for today. I have to go to work. I work from home for Apple, which is so cool because I don't have to have any long commutes and I can I get to wear really comfy clothes and pull my hair up and no makeup. But we will work on this again tomorrow. Hey everyone this is Pastor Bonnie and we're finishing up the painting so this is the one that I did yesterday and you can see that the colors are really muted and pretty and so I decided to keep this one the way it is and then I'm gonna do a second one that has more details so you can see the difference so here's the second one and what I did on this one I went ahead and I did just um, four big giant ones so this is also the 11 by 14 just the same size as the other one so this one um, I am gonna add one three more colors to the color palette otherwise this was exactly the very same technique that I showed you guys how to do yesterday so I'm gonna add the black and then I'm gonna add the dark green and I'm going to add the light green. So what I've done is I've added the same brown with a little bit of black. And then just to mix it in. So it's basically the brown with a little tiny bit of um, black. And then what we're going to do, I have just a small fine brush. And I'm just going to make dots around the edges. So this is just a really easy technique. You don't have to have really any artistic skills to make dots. But when you look at sunflowers, they, they, they look like this. They have like the little dots in the center and that's where the seed pods develop. But sunflowers just make me so happy to look at them. They're just joyful to work on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the dark on the outside and you can see I'm just dragging that dark in to the center and we just load the brush again so this is like I said just a super easy technique you can do with your kids and your grandkids your ladies groups your Bible studies and I know for myself, I feel so relaxed when I paint. Just love it. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back with the same brown and just see, give it a little texture. And I've still got some.
black on my brush. Actually, I'll probably go back over it. So you see, so you go from dark to light. Now I'm going to take some black and just go around the edge and kind of blend it in. It's been a pretty day today, guys. I had the day off, so I was actually working on the book. What I do is I, I take pictures of these projects and then I put them in a book. So the name of this one's going to be Simple Sunflowers Acrylic Painting Lesson. And then that's actually going to be the name of this video too. So if you decide you want to get the book, it's going to be on Amazon and I will put the description of it, the link in the description box. But this way you can um, paint along with me. And that way, if you forgot a step, you can go back and see it. I'll have it for sale, too, on the Father's Market, which is my website. So, see, isn't that pretty? It just adds so much, so much to it, doesn't it? Look at that. So, what I'm going to do now, I'll go back and do the other three. It's going to be the exact technique, and I'll let you see it when we get it done. So now you can see we got all four of the flowers done. And then I'm going to try some white. And I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. But if I don't, I'll just cover it up. So then we're just going to kind of go in the center. And just It just brings a little bit of um, light on the flowers. And I, I only, I'm using a really thin brush. And I'm kind of blending it in. See it? Because the paint's still wet. Excuse my puppy barking. We have a little beagle. She thinks she's helping out. So, yeah, I like that. So, you just want to do it just where you see the light on it. So, we'll do the same on each of the other ones. So, like I said, you guys, this is just so relaxed. And I hope you all had a really good day. Like I was telling you, I was off today so I've been working on the book that goes with this and then I also have pottery orders that are left over from um, Christmas so if you guys ever want some pottery you can check out the father's market or dragonfly corners I have those are both Etsy shops but it's just been a joyful day um, everybody loves their days off and I just feel so blessed for all that God's been doing in our lives and for me, this is just a joyful, joyful, relaxing way to spend time with you guys. So, like I said, it's just been a really fun day. And I actually just got a new Mac computer. My company really blessed us. They, I work for Apple, like I told you. They gave us each $500 off. So I bought myself a brand new Mac computer and paid $350 bucks for it. Can't beat that. But I sure do love it, and I'm excited to see how the new book's going to come out with um, you know, the new computer and the new program. There. So now we have the we have them done, and now I'm going to show you how to make some leaves next. So I'm going to kind of experiment. So this one, I loaded the paintbrush with light on the inside, or actually the other way, dark on the inside, light on the outside. And then we're just going to go make some leaves. I don't really like that. I think I'm just going to do this. And I'm using a square brush. So I think I'll actually go back and do the light after. So I just want a little pop of color. I think, like I said, I'm just going to do the dark first. And I'm just going from the inside out.
I've been enjoying this new video. You guys will have to check this out, but there's this new app that you can download on your phone. I have both an Android and an iPhone. I like having both of them, but it's called The Chosen. And oh my gosh, you guys, I've had such a good day with it. It just brings Jesus alive. The producers, it's like they tell the story of what it was like when he was alive and different you know different ways that people did things back in those days and oh I've just been enjoying that all day so my favorite thing to do is I get a big bowl of popcorn with olive oil that's how I justify it that's supposed to be good for you right but anyway I've been watching that all day and it's free and they have this crowdfunding which is really interesting so what they do you get to download the first season for free and you can choose if you want to pay pay it forward so other people can get it free. I just love that. So I've been enjoying that today. Okay, so now I'm going to use the lighter color and just kind of add some, a little bit of shading to the leaves. And it would probably would have been better if I waited till it was dry, but I am impatient. So anyway, I would encourage you guys, give that a shot. And it just makes Jesus be so real. He is anyway, but oh, I watched some of the scenes in there where he was healing people and it just brought tears to my eyes. I'm going to try to hold this up so you guys can see it, but it's easier if you just use your fingers. Just put little spackles everywhere. So here is the second one finished, and I, I'm not sure which one I like the best. So what I'm going to do is let this one dry, and then I'll spray it with clear shellac. But I'll just show you. So here's the first one, just with the muted colors, and then here's the second one. So I kind of think I like the second one better, to be honest. But I have so enjoyed spending this time and make sure that you sign your mark. I, I like to sign mine with a magic marker because I don't like to paint. I don't like to sign with a paintbrush. But um, I have so enjoyed this and I just want you all to be blessed. I want this to be a wonderful new year for you with hopes and dreams. And, and remember that God loves you and he has a plan for your life. And I love you too. Thank you and God.